Testing methods. When a system is designed, it is important that some consideration is given to making sure that no mistakes have been made. A schedule should be drawn up which contains a test for every type of input that could be made and methods of testing that the program actually does what it was meant to do. This schedule is known as the test plan. Note that it is produced before the system is produced. There are a number of ways of testing a program. 1. Different values can be input for variables to determine whether the program can cope with them. These values should include typical values, borderline values and values which are not acceptable. For example, if a program is written which uses marks out of 100 from a maths examination as input, the test data would include typical data like 27, 73, borderline data which would be 0 and 100, and unacceptable data like minus 34, 123, 16.345. This type of testing is called black box testing. 2. White box testing is testing the program to determine whether all the possible paths through the program produce the desired results. As a large program can have a very large number of routes, when you take into account the different condition statements and loops, white box testing is rarely carried out exhaustively. Think of black box as a test where you cannot see into the box program, all you see is what comes out at the end. White box testing means that you are able to see what is happening as the data goes through the box because it is transparent. 3. Alpha and Beta Testing When you have written a program and you sit down to test it, you have a certain advantage because you know what to expect. After all, you wrote the program. This can be extended to the whole software company, as the employees are all computer-minded people. Testing carried out by people like this is known as alpha testing. Eventually, the company will want ordinary users to test the program because they are likely to find errors that the software specialists did not find. Testing carried out by the users of the program is called beta testing. If you continue the course next year, in order to turn your AS grade into an A level, you will have to write a project. This involves using a computer to solve a problem for someone. When you have finished your project, you will be expected to test whether or not it works, this is alpha testing. You will also get marks if you persuade the person whose problem you are solving to test it for you, this is the beta testing.